I don't believe in the term role model. It's not that I just don't think that I'm a role model. I don't believe in it at all. I don't see anyone as a role model, but I pull inspiration from everyone in life. Winnie Harlow is a barrier-breaking model who's ascended to the top of the fashion world and shattered beauty norms along the way. She's graced the most iconic runways and magazine covers around the world and has become an outspoken advocate for self-confidence. I sat down with Winnie to discuss how she's working to make modeling more inclusive and the power in embracing our differences. You've shattered a lot of stereotypes and, and been a trailblazer in so many different ways. How do you think now about your voice and your platform to be able to be such a powerful force in this way? When you're put into the limelight, especially when you're young, it's hard to feel like you're doing the right thing sometimes. And I think as I've gotten older, um, I more so want to be viewed as me. I now more so than ever try to show myself as myself because I don't think anyone else should be able to tell me how I should live my life. Do you ever feel a sense of added pressure? I think that comes along with like the whole not allowing other people to dictate what my life is supposed to look like. I don't really feel a lot of pressure. Sometimes I do and like, do you know what? Yeah, I do. I actually do. I feel a lot of pressure. Um, Why do you think you said no initially? Because of how I try to continue to live my life besides the pressure. So I try to ignore it, but it's still there. Even though I'm ignoring it, it's definitely still there. So I, I, that kind of like came to me. I do feel pressure. I just try to ignore it. But um, I feel pressure and I realize I feel pressure because there's times when I, I won't even go outside because, you know, um, I just I want to be myself. And I feel like sometimes I can't be myself when I'm outside. and. Maybe I don't want to take a picture that day or I want to wear like my bonnet and go up the street and buy like chicken wings. And I want to walk, you know, I don't want to always deliver something. I want to live my life. I don't want to be filmed every day. I don't want to, you know, I love when people come over to me and give me a hug or have a conversation, but I'm not a statue in a museum. I don't want to take a selfie every day. I want to talk to people just like everyone else. Yeah, I hope people understand or like build an understanding eventually about celebrities being normal people, like there's no difference between normal people and celebrities. What is a normal person? What is a celebrity? We do things that you see on TV, great. And then we go home and- We eat chicken wings. We eat chicken wings, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. How do you define beauty for yourself? I always say that question doesn't matter because the answer doesn't matter. My definition of beauty shouldn't have any um, anything to do with your definition of beauty. I think beauty is really within the eye of the beholder. So I think everyone should stop focusing on what everyone else thinks beautiful is. I think a lot of people take or put a lot of responsibility on the industries, be it fashion or beauty industries, for what um, they put out into the world. But I think we have to take, start taking responsibility for what we put into our systems and what we allow the beauty industry to feed to us. You have said that while people look to you as a role model, you don't see yourself as a role model. Inspiration, maybe, but not a role model. Yeah. Why the difference? Everyone makes mistakes and I don't think anyone should be put on a pedestal or um, made to feel like, you know, I want to be that person. You should want to be yourself and be inspired by others. I find that a lot of people decide that they want to be a model based off of seeing someone like me and saying, well, if she could do it, I could do it. It takes a lot more than, you know, looks or whatever the case is. It's a lot of hard work, so I hope my influence on people is more so if you dream of being a dentist, I hope my aspiration to become a model and doing that helps you in your aspiration to become a dentist or a teacher or a lawyer, or whatever your dream is. Take my aspiration of being what I wanna be and put that in your life to do what you actually really dream to do.